Hey guys, what's up? It's part two here. Camera's shaking right now. Okay, it's part two, so let me adjust the camera so it... Ah, perfect! Whoa. Yeah! Okay, cool. Uh, let's exit out of here. So, sorry about that, guys. I had to cut it off at like 10 minutes or whatever. Just YouTube has a freaking video on the thing. Oh, uh, part two. Oh, that was nice. Let's do that again. Boing! You know what? I, I really want them to make a video game about it. I want them to make a Black Ops video game where you're Black Ops and you get sent in to do like a secret mission. It's kind of like this. It's too dark but like, I, I don't know. Like, like, with an RPG element. Kind of like Fallout 3's bats. But yet, like, the enemy is still moving as you go into bats. That'd be kind of cool. I can see him here. Um, yes. Yeah, their problem? I can see. Okay, let's go. You know what I love about games sometimes? Is that, like, you're trying to find a way through the level, and then all of a sudden, you, like, find... You, you can't find it, and then you turn around, and it's right there, it's dead in front of you, and, like, you wouldn't even know it, and it just blends in with all the other textures. Have you noticed that? Except like cartoon games. Cartoon games, it, that never happens. Never. Because it's always bright and colorful and cartoony. See, a lot of people are probably going, Wow, dude, you aren't complaining about this game right now? No, I like this. It, it's getting from point A to point B. Uh, something I like about that, just a simple game. But then it throws in the... Um, Art of sneaking, the art of stealth, which I enjoy, and it makes me want to eat cookies and cook cookies and bake brownies and have a glass of tea, a cup of tea with some crumpets. Make no sense whatsoever. Okay, this cutscene I always seem to laugh at. I'm going to try not to laugh in this cutscene. It's the one I think it is. Yeah, it is. I, I think. Okay. Oh jeez, there's nothing there. All the people are going to be like, Hey, this game's racist, they're going to make the black guy die first. No, my friend said that, and I was laughing so hard when he said it, because he's black. That made me laugh so hard. I'll be honest with you. Um... Also, guys, later I'll be recording some one v one versus one hundred. So yeah, see who wins prizes tonight. It might be me. Who knows? And we'll have some fun times. And you'll be talking randomly because of well, I'll be talking to friends and playing with it. Boy, oh, one versus one hundred. I was about to say one v one hundred, but that sounds weird. I'm in. I'm in crap. Crap water that looks like Mountain Dew. Hey, it actually kind of does. <laughs> wow, that's that's pretty interesting. On my screen, it looks like it's Mountain Dew. Hey, look a candy bar. Oh, you want some? No, well, can't have any. I weigh 335 pounds and I'm 3 foot 2. Get that. You guys think I'm. You guys think I'm just making that up? Yeah, I am. No, I'm, I'm really 14. I'm hideous and I weigh 125 pounds. The hideous thing I've 
say myself. I really say that about myself. It's just something kind of weird. A lot of people are like, hey, why are you doing that? Why, why, why? Um, yeah, I just say that about myself a lot. Um, guys, I'm going to have to cut the video short right here. And then I'll just, like, stop it and then come back. Because I have to do something real quick, so. Yeah. Be right back, guys. You won't even know it because I'll just, like, connect the videos. Hey guys, I'm back, and you don't even know it, probably, because I stitched the videos together. <sighs> yeah, and I'm still in the same place. It's in Shark Wave. Uh, uh, this cutscene is funny. I always jip my friends with this, because I'm like, dude, this cutscene is useless, and it really is. Watch. Okay, wow. No, not that. Okay, this. This coming up. Save your... Yes, I want to save, dude. Wow. Odor. This game has 24 levels, I think. Which are... Some of them are long and some of them are short. There's like no profanity in this game whatsoever. There isn't. Um, I'll be honest with you, if they added profanity, it would be a bit better. Because right now, I would give this game a T rating, and it traded in. And, yeah. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, let's skip that. I have to go spy on that thingy, and then I have to wait a sec. No, let me move. Okay, I can't. Okay, so that's the target. That's it. That's the console. That's the thing about the audio. The audio is horrible, in my opinion. Just, just horrible. But, I, I mean, it's alright for an adequate game, but yeah. Okay, this is the part where I'm going to try to skip the cutscene. I missed! No, I didn't. Okay, so let's open the door. Because there would have been a whole cutscene where it's like, you have to shoot the lock, and I'm like, I, I just want to skip that. Okay, so we have to split it up. They magically, magically disappeared. Uh, I'm gonna go down here first. See what see what the hell is down here. This game is kind of like Metal Gear Solid. It, it kind of reminds me of like Metal Gear Solid in a way. So, oh jeez, oh jeez, Dingo Baby. Okay, well I'm about to cut the video short here, guys. This is the end of part two. I'll just show you what happens here, just just randomly what happens here. So, this guy got a hooker. Yeah, he paid a real good money, I heard. Well, yeah, he did. But, he gonna get bait more than one place. Hey, Holy crap. Oh, the they they struggled with that crazy shit. Stay away from me. That's crazy. My God, that's abusive. She likes bonds. Go get the chains. Mm-mm, that probably tastes real good. My gosh, she just picked him up. He didn't even get his money back. 
heard of crap. That ad is so. Now I got to take care of these birds. That sucks. Okay. Time to end part two. She in part three. When I go face to face with Hooker. And I'll show you what an angry Twilight fan does.